three reasons why German football is actually better than English football. There is also one thing that I found was worse in Germany. So let's get into it. Now the first reason why German football is better than English football is the affordable ticket prices. German match tickets are so cheap, which makes it so much more affordable and accessible for everyone. I already paid 20 euros. Yes, again, you heard that right, 20 euros, which was to go and watch a Hertha game in Berlin. This price doesn't only cover your match ticket, it also includes a train ticket within it, so your transport is sorted. You don't have to pay extra for travel. Having such affordable prices for matches means that a diverse range of people can actually afford to go to games regularly. Which leads me on to my second reason why German football is better than English football, which is the fans. If you think British football fans are passionate, just wait until you've met German fans. As I mentioned in the vlog, I spoke to a few fans outside the stadium. Obviously I wasn't from Berlin and that was my first ever German game and they honestly made me feel so welcome. And they just spoke with such passion for their club. Now what's also interesting is that German football clubs actually operate under something that's called the 50 plus one rule, which essentially means that fans have a majority ownership of their clubs, which actually means that fans have more say in the club's decision-making processes. This democratic approach fosters a stronger connection between the fans and their clubs, which obviously leads to a deeper sense of loyalty. Now, I was in shock at the amount of energy that the fans brought to this game. You could just see their love and passion for their club. Even if they conceded a goal, they would still continue to cheer and chant their team on, which honestly is something you would rarely see in English football. If your team was losing and by a considerable amount, fans won't be cheering. They'll go very, very quiet and a lot of them may actually leave. This leads me on to my third reason why German football is better than English football. And that is the atmosphere. The fans were singing, cheering, jumping, swinging their scarves around, which just built an incredible atmosphere for the entire game. But not only were they singing and chanting for the entire 90 minutes, they were there before the game, and after the game. When I got there, I could hear the fans in the stadium. When I left, I could still hear the fans in the stadium. And to make this even crazier, the amount of comments I've had on my vlog from Hertha fans saying that that was the worst atmosphere of the season and I couldn't have chose a worse game to go to is insane. If that was the worst atmosphere of the season, I would love to see the best atmosphere of the season because wow, even being sat fairly far from the action, what I experienced was like nothing I've ever seen in the UK. Not once was there a dull or quiet period. In English football, yes, we chant, sing, cheer, etc. <laughs> but not for the entire 90 minutes. You will never see a club singing for an entire 90 minutes. It was just incredible. Even being sat fairly far from the heart of the action, what I experienced was like nothing I've seen in the UK, especially not at the empty ad. Now, there is one thing that was actually worse than in the UK, which personally I think is actually quite a British thing. And that's the queues. Let me explain. Now to get into the stadium, you obviously have to go through a turnstile like you do anywhere. In the UK, you'd usually have different queues for a few different turnstiles, and it's broken up in a way that makes it a fairly quick process. I honestly don't think I've ever Ever queued for more than five minutes, if that. However, at the Hertha game, I find myself queuing, if you can even call it that, for about 20 minutes. As I was just a crowd of people all trying to get to this row of turnstiles, which honestly didn't seem very organized, efficient, and definitely was not quick. Obviously, this isn't a huge deal. I just wanted to give you a well-rounded perspective, which it does include some of the best and worst parts. But honestly, I would highly recommend visiting a German football match if you never have. But I would just say, leave yourself a little extra time for those cues. 